In today's video, I would like to show you how to create a local admin account on a Palo Alto Firewalls. I will try to create the one super admin account, one read-only account, and one device admin account. So let's crack on. On my in my lab, I have my Palo Alto Firewall and one, my management station. So if I go to my management station, here's my login window for Palo Alto Firewall. I will log in. I'm still using the default admin account, which is predefined on a Palo Alto firewall, just with a new password. So once I log in, once you log in to the firewall, you are on a dashboard. All the admin accounts are configured under the device tab. So let's go to device tab. Now under the device tab, there is a section for the administrators, admin roles, and uh, ad authentication uh, profile and password profile. So we will concentrate for the administrators. Now, at the moment, there's on the default admin account. I will add another super admin account. So it will have the same permission as my admin. I just don't want to use the admin account. So let's call it super admin, give it a password. and administer type dynamic super user. Password profile, we leave it as a none and we click OK. So that's the first super admin that should have the same permission as the admin above. Now I want to create only read only admin and that's quite easy on Palo Alto follow because it's a predefined. So I'll click add, go read, add, unable to type read admin uh, give it a password now admin set type is a super user but i want a super user read only super user read only password profile is none now i have the read admin now the last account i would like to create it is the device admin account and for that account, uh, we will use what it's called administrator roles or admin roles. And we want this account to only have access to dashboard and a device. You can pick any of the section out of the configuration. You, fully, you can fully customize it. But for our example here, I just want to have a access to dashboard and a device at that. So in admin roles, you can see there are already predefined admin roles for what it's called audit admin, crypto admin, and security admin. So let's quickly have a look what the audit admin have access to. It's quite easy. It's quite easy to read and understand. So you can see all those options here mimic exactly your configuration. So you got all your major tabs and then all the subsection here. And we can see that this audit admin only have access to the monitoring section. So monitoring tab with all its subsections. And then he has no access or disable access to everywhere else apart i think a device and uh, as i think is a lock settings yeah manage locks and lock settings and we can cancel we will see same in a crypto admin let's have a look he's got access to monitor network just for the ipsec and gre tunnel sections again network profiles all around the encryption for IPsec, device, and so on. So we want to create admin roles for the admin device who only have access to dashboard and a device. So I click add. I call it a device admin role. It could be like that, yeah. And I want dashboard, so tick. And I will untick all the remaining options about the device. So dashboard and device is accessible. I click OK and device admin role is here. Now I can both go back to the administrators and I create the device admin. Give it a password. Now. So we give it a password and now 
administrator type we need to change from dynamic to role based and from the role base we should see those three predefined and the one we have just created so i'll give the device admin role and i click ok before i click ok there is also option to create a password profile we quickly have a look what is it so i click ok for this account so it's added now if you look at the password profile if you want to create a password profile it you can give it obviously the name and it forced the users to change the password because traditionally if you have the local user account usually once you set it the password is there the user doesn't have to change it here with the password profile you can assign how long the or what's the change period so for example you can set it up most common like a 30 days or 60 days to change the password and you can also set up for example the explanation expiration warning period so for example five or 10 or 15 days before the password will expire that user will get a notification so that's the password profile now going back to the administrators so we created a super admin read admin and device admin i will commit the configuration and once the configuration is committed uh, then we will test all those three accounts if they have the right permissions to access the firewalls while we're waiting for the comment, please hit the like button and subscribe. It will help me to grow the channel. Now, configuration is committed. Let's close the window and let's log out. Now, first, let's try the super admin. That should have a same access as my previous admin account. I forgot my password, right? Ah, it has a little bit of delay. Let's, let's type it again, log in, and to save it. So that's a super admin account. Let's have a look. Now we log in with the new user. So we have a welcome message. Now great stuff. So super admin, I'm logging as a super admin. You can see it here down in the left bottom corner. We have access to all the tabs, monitor, objects, network policies that looks very good let's quickly have a look once we want policies if i can add the policy yes i can add the policy that's looking very good great stuff so it looks like the super admin is working let's log out and try the read only admin now the read admin for we call it correctly password i don't want to say it and this visibility for read only admin should be the same just he should not have a permission to add a new stuff or change any any configuration so let's see okay we logged in we got a welcome message let's close it can see I logged in as a read admin. I have visibility of all the tabs again. This looks good. And now let's go to policies. Yes. And here we can see I'm unable to add a new policies. The add button is grayed out. Also, the delete button or clone or override anything which could change the policies. The security policies on a Palo Alto file was in grayed out. And it will be the same if I go to objects and I try to add the objects, I'm unable to do it. So it looks the read only account also working fine. Now I will log out again. And now we will try the last account we created, the custom device admin. Device admin. Get the password. Let's login i don't want to save it now the device admin account should only have the access to dashboard and a device tab nothing else so let's see how it looks like i have logged in as a device admin i can close the welcome message again and we can see straight away straight away that all the other options the policies and monitoring uh, objects are missing here. All the tabs are, I only have a dashboard and 
the device tab, nothing else. So the users or the admin who use this account can now can see the dashboard and a device tab. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.